Today I'm gonna to be making something really, really fast and really yummy, and I'm making cheddar cheese crackers. Three ingredients, that's it, that's all. So let's get on with the recipe. I've got one cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of chilled butter, and I'm using salted butter, and we're also gonna use cheddar cheese, and I'm using an old cheddar cheese. Now this here is 300 grams, which is about 10 ounces. We're only gonna be using eight of that. I'm gonna shred this up and get one cup of cheese, which is eight ounces of cheese. So three ingredients, really simple recipe. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just finishing grating up my cheese here. And I'm gonna need about one cup of this. So I just wanted to show you this before we actually start into the recipe. So a little bit of food prep. Okay, so I've got enough there now for our recipe. And I'll just show you that before we start off. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna measure this out so that I have a cup of that. So I'll get doing that and then I'm gonna set up and we're gonna start into our recipe. All right, so I have grated up my cheddar cheese and I'm using an old cheddar for this recipe. Now, I am using a very, very small food processor here so we may have to break this down into two batches, but we'll get on with the recipe. So our first step, I'm gonna get my flour in here. All right, we're gonna get all of our flour in. There we go. And then I'm gonna get the butter in. Get all of that in, there we go. And then I'm just gonna pulse this a couple of times to incorporate this. All right, that's good. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna start adding in our cheese. And I'm gonna do this in two separate additions. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put a little bit of the cheese in, incorporate it, and then I'm gonna do this in two batches since this food processor is very, very small. We'll just get that on there like that. And just put a little bit of a zip. All right, I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna get most of it out. And then we will put the rest of our cheese in. And if your food processor is larger, obviously you're gonna do this in one single batch. There we go. And get this going. All right, that's good. All right, everything is well combined. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a couple of tablespoons of water in here, just like that. And we'll just start mixing it all together. Basically what we're doing is we're creating a dough. And we'll just get it all together. You can still see that it's dry. So we'll add another one. And our four tablespoons all together now. Then we'll just get it all together. I also want you to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. There, and you can see it's coming together now. Just like that, that's great. So we're gonna get it out and onto our work surface. We're gonna get it into a ball. Go. Just like that. Whoa, that cheese smells good. Now you can either at this point, you can use some parchment paper or wax paper and you can roll this out between the two sheets. 
or you can just do it like I'm doing here. And I'm going to want to roll this out to about a maybe an eighth of an inch. We don't want it too thick, but we don't want it too thin where the crackers are actually going to burn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab my rolling pin. I'll be back in a second. All right. Just going to roll this out. I've got my handy dandy offset spatula here. There we go. So just take your time rolling this out. Sliding this underneath our dough just ensures that it's going to turn properly. And now I know also that when I roll it again, it's not going to stick underneath. There we go. All right, so now we're going to start cutting. You can either use a pizza cutter or you can just use a knife. And I'm just going to use a pizza cutter today. And you can make these any shape you wish. There are no rules. So I'm just going to go right along like that. Just like that. Just have fun with it. Any which way is great. If you have fancy little cookie cutters, you can also use those as well. Now I did not use any salt in this recipe because I was using salted butter. However, if you are using non-salted butter, just add an eighth of a teaspoon to a quarter teaspoon of salt, depending on how salty you like your crackers. There we go. So now I'm just going to cut along like that. So you can see our little crackers now taking shape. And if you do have a large food processor, everything you saw me do would even be easier because you do everything in the food processor. There you go. I've got myself a tray here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start loading these onto the tray. So what I'll do is I'm going to get them on there and then I'm going to space them out. I'm trying to stay on camera so that you can see, but it's a little bit hard. You can see how the spatula is nice because it just picks everything up for you. like that okay so I'll come back in a second I'm gonna load some of these up and I'll show you before they go into my oven okay so just spread them out a little bit on your tray now at this point you can make the little you know the little hole or dot that you see in some of the crackers like uh, Cheez-Its have little holes in them I'm just moving these around. There we go. All right. So you can just take a fork and put little holes if you wish. Or you can put one little hole in the middle. And you could use, I guess, a wooden skewer to do that. I'm just thinking of something quick. So there we go. I don't know. I like the fork. Just like that. Okay, that's good, great. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pop these into my 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes or so. I'll tell you exactly how long I bake them when I get back. So, into the oven. All right, these just came out. I had them in exactly 15 minutes, 350 degrees. And oh, they smell so good. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get all these off my tray. I'm going to do the rest of them up and I'll come back and I'll show you the final product when they're all done. Look at that. Can you see how nice they just puffed right up? Beautiful little things. Don't worry, I will zoom in and I will show you. So I'm going to go do the rest of these and I'll be back later. All right, I ended up doing three trays out of that recipe that you saw and that is quite impressive. These are really, really, really good. You have to try this recipe. 
They are like goldfish on steroids. It's a, it's a mix of goldfish and those Cheez-It little crackers. Just amazing, amazing flavor. You gotta try this recipe. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Just listen to that. Look at that. Crunch. Mmm, mmm. Yum. Cheesy, cheesy.